Well, you may want to remember this date if you haven't already. April 8th. It is less than two months away and some very serious planning is already underway for the upcoming solar eclipse. We've told you about a lot about it, like the logistics, like safety glasses, viewing spots, open venues, hotel rooms already booked up, and even schools are closed. But for law enforcement, it is yet another challenge that they have to deal with. Channel 2's Ron Plants explains. We and they all know it's coming with excitement for some about being smack dab in the path of totality. But for the state police and other law enforcement and emergency responders, it's awareness of what could happen. We're trying to get numbers on an estimation of how many people would be here. Could be a million, could be half a million. We're looking at that and we're getting, the, we're getting those numbers from previous eclipses in different areas. That might be places like Oregon back in August 2017 when they experienced masses of people for an eclipse. What we've seen in the past at other locations, uh, you know, people pull off in unsafe areas. It could be on the throughway, could be on a side road, it could be, you know, in an intersection elongated looking at this, you know, eclipse. And that's what we want to have not happen. We want to make sure that people are as safe as possible uh, during that two hour span of time. But the totality of darkness will be about four minutes uh, just after about quarter after three. So what we want to make sure is people aren't driving while looking at something like that, pulling off of the road in an unsafe area that could get hit by a car. Which tragically actually happened in Kentucky in 2017. Of course, just like the Grand Canyon with past eclipses, they know Niagara Falls will be a hot viewing spot with hotel rooms booked up. It's one of the wonders of the world and then you add the eclipse on top of it. It is a pretty cool area to be in for this. So all of us together with our meetings and information, we're able to at least compile a somewhat accurate, you know, measure of event. They'll depend on public messaging to get the message out. So we're working with New York State DOT and Thruway Authority, all those messaging boards, obviously media, social media and things like that to put that out there. But also you have to look at, you know, the state parks or different venues. Now, it's not clear yet if any area roadways would actually be restricted, but we do know that out in Oregon in 2017, they say it took more than 20 hours to untangle some of the traffic gridlocks that they saw out there. Hopefully that's not going to happen here. Now, uh, we also know that Buffalo Police and Fire actually held a training session on the eclipse last week and we understand that next week Erie County officials are going to hold a conference on the subject in depth at the convention center that will be coming up as well. On your side live from the rooftop I'm Ron Plants Channel 2 News no eclipse tonight but we know it's coming.